With recent calls for the resignation of Williamson County Sheriff Robert Schote amid an in-custody death investigation, KXAN investigators have been looking into what the law says about removing a Texas sheriff from their elected position. Our Aaron Cargile has more from Georgetown. It is not an easy task to achieve. State statute spells out the following reasons for removal, incompetency, official misconduct or intoxication. To start the process, someone must file a petition, aka a lawsuit in district court. That lawsuit must then be approved by a district judge before it goes to trial. I reached out to the two Williamson County commissioners who called on Sheriff Chody to resign to ask if they have plans to take their request any further. Terry Cook told me in an email, I have no further plans at this time. We need the legal process to move forward. Cynthia Long said she is not commenting beyond the call for resignation earlier this week. State Representative James Tallarico, who has also called on the sheriff to resign, hopes the citizens of Williamson County start the legal steps for removal. Sheriff Chody's department killed uh, a citizen that they were sworn to protect and serve. They filmed that killing for a reality TV show and then they covered it up for 15 months and withheld the truth from the public. If that's not official mis misconduct, if that's not incompetency, then I don't know what is. And the public information officer here said Sheriff Chody was unavailable for comment today. In fact, he's been unresponsive to KXAN since this entire issue came to light earlier this week. He's been doing all of his talking on Twitter. On Tuesday, he said he has no plans to back down and said, quote, I look forward to continuing to serve as the sheriff of Williamson County. Back to you. Aaron, thanks. There was a local case in which this same statute was used in the last decade. In 2013, then Governor Rick Perry tried to oust former Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lundberg after a DWI arrest and conviction. But the court ruled in her favor and she stayed in office in Austin until 2017.